sunny day today uh, on the search for some uh, dragonflies. One of the things all nature photographers will tell you it is often a waiting game. Uh, it's often a case of setting up the camera and just waiting for the shot. So I'm very happy to have got the shot I was after. Um, it's really cool to see them flying uh, and uh, landing or uh, even just uh, spot them. Uh, so yeah, um, the poles that I left in the water, they are great to uh, encourage them to land on in the uh, spot you want them to. They didn't seem to take to them, they were much more uh, up for landing on the reeds, but it's certainly worth uh, doing it yourself and getting them used to the, the poles you have in place, and after a few days you will see them landing on them and uh, you will see results, so good luck everyone. Dragonflies can fly straight up and down, side to side, much like a helicopter. They're very nifty and precise. Damselfly and dragonfly are very agile in the air, and this is how they escape their many predators, which include fish, birds, grogs, lizards, and small mammals, so they certainly have a challenge to stay alive. When mating, the males have claspers on their abdomens to hold onto the females behind their heads. While the females curl their bodies forward, creating a wheel shape, and this allows the reproductive organs to touch. After mating, some species fly in a tandem, with the female bearing the weight of the male while she lays her eggs. Dragonflies were actually one of the first winged insects to evolve some 300 million years ago which is pretty crazy. Dragonflies actually have a wingspan of about two to five inches, but um, there have been fossils found with like huge, <laughs> huge wingspans. So it's crazy to think that these are just scaled down versions of what used to be, you know. 